more experienced than some of the guys in the room. What can you tell them about going through a stretch like this? Or maybe you're putting in a good performance but not getting the results. Yeah, I mean, just stay positive, stay focused. Um, you know, we, we haven't gotten the results we wanted, but I, you know, we've done a lot of good things. Uh, I got to take the positives out of it. But, you know, we also got to know that it's unacceptable to, you know, uh, finish games like that and, and play that way in the third. So, um, you know, there's two ways to look at it. Even with the experiences that the team's had so far, can you still attribute losses like that to growing pains and having to learn how not to lose? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be times during the season where, um, you know, teams come back on you when you're ahead. But, uh, you know, I think it's been a few too many times for us already. So um, that's something we definitely got to get better at. You're just saying to Connor, is a sort of a fine line between frustration and optimism, knowing you can play with most teams in the National Hockey League and a lot of points have been left on the table? Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate. There's, uh, you know, it's tough to make the playoffs in this league and, um, you know, you don't want to give away points when you have a great opportunity to get them. So um, it's unfortunate we've done that, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of games left and, um, you know, we got to get back in the hunt here quick. You've had some good success in the shootout, but this season, four games, four losses in the shootout. What um, what do you, can you attribute all that situation to when you have this much talent in the room? Yeah, I mean, not much. It's a, it's a shootout. It's kind of, you can't get too high when you win shootouts. You can't get too low when you lose them. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things. We obviously got super skilled guys taking shots, and, um, you know, they haven't gone in. The goalies have made some saves, and there can be a stretch where, you know, we'll win, we'll win six, seven shootouts in a row. So it's just one of those things. Having gone to Denver and knowing some of the California-based uh, players coming through the league now, can you talk about, because uh, Austin's going to be uh, playing Arizona tomorrow, just the whole development about NHL talent in that area? It's not uncommon to see people come up now. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of kids coming up from the areas that probably weren't when I was a lot younger. Um, it's a ton of talent. Um, I played with some guys in college that were from the California area, and they were always the, you know, they always played roller hockey the most, and they were the, always the guys that had the best hands and stuff. So um, I think uh, there's a lot more hockey in those areas now and a lot more kids coming up. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's so many tournaments uh, across the nation now where you play against Canadian teams or, you know, other U.S. teams and everyone's kind of got the same mentality towards hockey now. I think it's growing a lot in those areas of the U.S. and I think it's great for the game.